everybody. Welcome back to Conscientious I'm Noir. My name is Pal. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you guys with me on a little trip into Budapest. Um, there is a brand new place that just opened uh, earlier this spring. It's um, Budapest's uh, first uh, vegan uh, beer garden place. So the plan is that uh, they're going to have a lot more um, options, but right now there's already a um, burger place, there's a um, pastry place, and uh, an ice cream place already in the yard, or in the garden I should say, and they're going to have um, even some more places, um, you know, kind of in there as well. They have uh, vegan beers, and um, refreshments, and cocktails, and all this kind of stuff, so it's uh, quite exciting. All the um, places uh, in the garden are going to be vegan, of course, and they are going to have um, lots of different options. It's in a really historic, uh, beautiful part of the city, as you can see. We're kind of on our way there, and um, beautiful buildings all around, just uh, really cool. It's kind of like um, near the um, uh, uh, synagogue, and that is actually what you see here. Um, the synagogue is uh, the, I believe, the second largest synagogue in all of Europe, and uh, it's massive. It pretty much takes up like a whole block uh, of the city. Um, beautiful sites. Um, definitely recommend checking that out as well. Um, like I said, really cool old buildings and um, lots of the kind of typical Hungarian ruin bars that uh, a lot of uh, people enjoy nowadays and come from afar to see. So a lot of people come uh, visit from the UK and people do like bachelor parties and bachelorette parties and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, here it is. You can see the entrance and um, like I said the eventual plan is that uh, there's gonna be a whole bunch more like little options in there uh, you can see the sign there I love that it says love thy neighbor with a big heart I really dig that and um, you know inside they have all these uh, plants and containers and um, you know I'm sure at night it's lit up and looks pretty nice we came during the day with the kids uh, you know had fun uh, they had a huge mulberry tree this is what you're seeing here um, I, I only noticed it because there were some mulberries already falling from it and uh, just landing on the ground just near the, the bathroom actually and um, it's just one of the biggest mulberry trees I've ever seen you can see all the plants they have they uh, collect rainwater they do composting it's really cool um, and you know, like I said, they have a full bar. They have a wonderful pastry shop um, with everything, of course, being uh, vegan, as you can see. And uh, you can check them out on Instagram and uh, Facebook and all this kind of stuff. Um, they were very nice. I told them I was going to include a little section in my uh, in my video about them. So the pastries we had were wonderful. Um, the kids liked them too. And um, yeah, really really great uh, you know vibe and atmosphere sitting around and um, we, we actually ate our um, dessert first because we were, had to wait uh, quite a while to get our um, veggie burgers um, the veggie burger place uh, is called um, Las uh, Vegans and um, the uh, burgers are actually quite um, different than the veggie burgers at uh, each time feed which i featured before in a video if you haven't watched that check that out um they don't have quite a um qu quite the same texture patty they're a lot more kind of uh you know soft and squishy they don't really have that kind of like meaty texture as the each time feed does so i'm not sure that i would um say they're better but i do really like the fact that they have many different flavors to choose from and um, they are quite, uh, you know, really good, but not in the traditional like hamburger type, uh, you know, meat replacement sense. So they had um, like a chickpea um, uh, burger that I had, which had like a curry sauce on it and it was wonderful. The bun was really good, I really enjoyed it. They had regular uh, potato wedges. They had sweet potato fries. Those were all awesome. They were really good. The kids loved those. They had different kinds of sauce. We had the, uh, I think it was like a sweet um, onion jam. We had a garlic uh, veganese and a regular veganese. They were both great. And um, yeah, they were kind of like like a real like you know junk food kind of like vegan option that I think a lot of people will enjoy. My uh, wife had the carrot um, burger and I tried that as well. It was quite good. 
So uh, yeah, just really good um, options, and uh, and it's just nice to try you know different kind of stuff and support the local the local vegan um, businesses. So if you're ever in Budapest, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, we got ice cream. The ice creams were all really good. Um, we had uh, you know different flavors, but I think the ones in the picture here are uh, pistachio. There was the blue one was a spirulina coconut. Um, pineapple I think if I remember right and that one was really awesome too and the chocolate was good as well so yeah I mean just really good stuff um, really enjoyed it it was it was great I definitely recommend people uh, exploring that whole area of town it's uh, it's wonderful to just walk around and see all these cool buildings and stuff and um, yeah it's just you know really cool I definitely recommend uh, if you're coming to Budapest, look around for the vegan options. I'll try to feature some more in upcoming videos, and I've already done a few uh, before, so if you haven't seen those, check it out. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!